that's that's a funny story. Um, the first manuscript I ever wrote, which has never been published, um, is a straight historical. It, it's it's not particularly funny. It's more like you know heart tugging and um, you know kind of a sweeping saga about two warring families on the border of England and Scotland. But it took place um, in uh, 1705. So I did, I did years of research, took me 10 years to write that manuscript, and I'm very proud of it. It's a very good story. It's very different than, than the books that I have that are out now. But um, when my agent wasn't able to sell that, she said to me, um, listen, why don't you just go back and write a second book? And she said it to me like I was a person who had just, you know, zipped off my first manuscript in like six months. You know, like just go back and do that. And I said, you know, the first one took me 10 years. And she said, oh, I know you'll, I know you'll be able to do it. So it, thank goodness she was so confident because that, uh, you know, that really carried me through. But I, and, and then I had that business trip where I was in the Pittsburgh airport and passed by the Nine West Shoe Store. And all of a sudden it dawned on me, I can take advantage of what I've already um, uh, researched and what I, a period I already feel comfortable with, and yet add a contemporary kind of flair to it by having my heroine be contemporary and go back to 1705. And, you know, so I already knew, you know, the political things that were going on then, or what people wore and how they, well, not like you actually know how they talk, but, you know, at least I had a style developed that seemed like how they talked in 1705. And so that that made it easy. And so I've, I keep dipping back into that time period because I think that, um, at some, I, I like to have little connections between my books. So, you know, the heroine in one book is the friend of a heroine in another book. It's not like you have to have read one before you can read the other, but you get like this kind of like um, a little smile if you happen to have read the other one when you get to the, the place in the, the next one where, where they're mentioned. So I think at some point everything will tie up, you know, like Lost in the last season or something like that. So. <laughs>